What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be doing a French press coffee recipe today. French press has become my favorite way of making coffee. It's super simple. Um, you don't need a coffee maker or any of those things and it just seems like the coffee comes out so much better. I've been using whole bean roasted coffee and uh, I've been grinding it myself and it's just the taste of the coffee is just out of this world. So we're gonna show you guys how to do that today. Let's get right to work. All right, so this is everything that you will need to get this coffee made. Um, this is what I use, is actually I think from Sam's Club. It's a uh, organic breakfast blend and it's really, really delicious, low acidity. Uh, fair trade coffee and it's whole beans you actually have to grind them I got myself a little coffee grinder which is I think like 15 bucks and this is what the coffee beans actually look like before we grind them um, they're uh, they're a lot better like this I feel like they're, it's a lot fresher when you make it because it releases those oils uh, the next ingredient we use is organic brown sugar um, you know, I use about one tablespoon uh, per cup of coffee. This is uh, our favorite uh, creamer. It's silk almond, almond milk creamer and it's non-GMO and it's very uh, low on the ingredient list. It doesn't have any chemicals or anything like that. So they don't use carrageenan, which is hard to find with a lot of these creamers nowadays. So really love this one. The taste, everything is, is pretty good. Um, a French press, this is just really simple. You just uh, press down the coffee, it basically filters it. You let it sit for about five minutes to steep and um, you have a delicious cup of coffee. And this is uh, my little grinder here. So first thing we do is we take one quarter cup of coffee beans. And this will make two cups of coffee, like two good sized cups. I take the coffee beans. All right, so now that we have a quarter cup of, of the beans inside the coffee grinder, we're simply just gonna close this. It's got a little seal when it locks in place and it just has a little button up top. You press down. You wanna shake it a little bit so it gets evenly distributed. perfectly fresh ground coffee so it only takes a few seconds you can buy the ground coffee already but trust me to me I, I think this is worth grinding your own because it's like you're getting it fresh when you when you crack those grains you're releasing all of those oils uh, that you have been sealed in the coffee beans so now I'm gonna just put this in my uh, French press and I have some water that is um, on the stove and basically the perfect temperature for water for coffee from what I've researched is 195 degrees Fahrenheit. So I use a thermometer. Um, I go over to my water and I just put that in. All right, so we got the water here and I like to get it at about 195 because from what I've researched, that's the best temperature. So, Let's see, we're 180, we're about 195 there. Once it starts bubbling, you're you're around the 195 area. Okay, so we're at 90, 196. So we take it off, and we're gonna go over to our French press. All right, so basically we're gonna take our 195 degree water, and we're gonna pour it um, into the French press. And how I measure. I think it's probably around 750 milliliters of water, but how I measure is for two people, um, two good size coffee mugs is up to that black line. So basically I, I get enough hot water to get up to that black line on this particular French press. 750 milliliters to 800 milliliters I would say. And then I just stir it to, um, to get the coffee grinds distributed. A nice little foam on top and we take the top part and this is why it's called the French press 
is it actually going to press down all those coffee grinds to the bottom press it down once you got it down you just wait five minutes and get your mugs ready then you add your coffee to it and mix okay so I use about one tablespoon of organic sugar per cup um, this coffee is actually really not bitter at all you could probably drink it without the sugar I'm just not quite there yet with my coffee I used to drink black coffee but I got out of the habit um, but eventually I do want to go down to uh, half a tablespoon then no sugar so basically I'm just gonna pour it I've been sitting for five minutes steeping and this is uh, a light roast which a light roast believe it or not has more caffeine than the dark roast and I thought it was the opposite for a long time but researching coffee I found out that light roast coffee is actually higher in caffeine so we got the two cups there I'm gonna add a little bit of the creamer about a tablespoon and I'm just gonna give it a quick stir And there we have what I consider to be a perfect cup of coffee. I'm going to go ahead and take a sip. Let you guys know what I think and how it came out. Mmm. Amazing. Every time. Mmm. This coffee is really, really delicious. The creamer, um... It's perfect. It gives it a nice, subtle, silky uh, texture and taste. And um, like I said, not bitter at all. That organic sugar, um, just perfect. It adds a nice amount of sweetness. Uh, better coffee than you can buy at any coffee shop. And it's all organic. So I highly recommend you guys give this a try. If you got a Sam's near you, uh, try that organic coffee. It's very affordable, very, very cheap for that big bag. I think it was like seven or eight bucks. So I highly recommend it. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you really soon on the next one.